What you do in this video is think about multiplying or strategies for multiplying numbers that are expressed in terms of hundreds or thousands or tens. And so we see an example right over here. We have 800 times 400. Now, like always, I encourage you to pause this video and see if you can work this out on your own. Now, let's work this through together. And I'm going to work it out in a way that at least my head likes to tackle it. And once you get enough practice, you might even be able to do these types of multiplication problems without even needing to use paper. So the key realization here is to say, well, look, this is eight hundreds. So that's the same thing as eight times 100 and this over here is 400s so this is 4 times 100 and so it's 8 times 100 times 4 times 100 and if you're multiplying a bunch of numbers like this you can switch the order in which you're doing the multiplication so you can view this as 8 times 4 8 times 4 times 100 times 100 times 100 times 100 times 100 now why is this easier well what is 8 times 4 going to be well 8 times 4 if we know our times tables is 32 and so it's going to be 32 times what's 100 times 100 going to be Now there's multiple ways that you could think about this and I want you to really think it through but we'll soon see that there's a fairly fast way of making sure we got it right. But one way to think about it is well, let me do it over here. 10 times 100 is equal to 1000 and so 100 times 100 is going to be 10 times that or it's going to be equal to 10,000. So this stuff right over here is equal to 10 10,000. Now you might notice something interesting here. I have two zeros and then another two zeros, so I have a total of four zeros, and then I have four zeros here. Because every time if you multiply every time you multiply by 10, you're going to add another zero. So if you're multiplying by 100, you're going to add two zeros. If you're multiplying by 1000, you're going to add three zeros. And you see that here. So you have 32 times 10,000 which is going to be cut b what well let's see 32 32 times 1000 would be 32000 but this is 32 times 10000 so it's going to be 320000 now you might already notice an interesting pattern here 32 times 1 followed by four zeros is 32 followed by four zeros this is 32 ten thousands which is 320,000. Now another way you could have thought about it is 8 times 4 gives us our 32. And then we have two zeros there, two zeros there for a total of four zeros, and we have our four zeros right over there. Now I don't want you to just memorize that. It works because this is 800s times 400s 8 times 4 gives us the 32 and then the 100 times the 100s that's where these four zeros come from let's do another example so let's do let me delete this and let us do let me get my pen back so let's do 30 times 70 30 or let's do 30 times 700. Pause the video and see if you can figure this out. So we can do it like we did before. 30 is 3 times 10. 700. So times 700, which is 7 times 100. And so if you say 3 times 7 is going to be 21 times times 10 times 100 is going to be 1000. So what's 21 times 1000? Well, that's going to be 21 21000. Now, just like we saw before, you'll once you get a hang of it and I always want you to understand where it's coming from. 3 times 7 is the 21 and then you're going to multiply that times 10 and then 100. So you have 1 2 3 zeros, 1 2 3 zeros. Let's do one more of these. So let's say we wanted to multiply 
times 8,000. Pause the video and see if you can figure out what this is. Maybe in your head. Try to do this one in your head. Or on paper. Don't feel bad if you need to use paper. That's always prudent. Well, you might get the hang of it now. You might be able to do this quite quickly. You might be able to say, hey, 2 times 8, well, that's going to be equal to 16. And then I have, and then I have 3 plus 3 zeros. So that's going to be six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, which gives me 16 million. And you would absolutely be correct. Now, I want to reinforce what you're doing when you're just counting zeros like that. What you're doing is you're saying, hey, this is the same thing as two times 1,000 times eight times 1,000. Eight times 1,000. And then you're just changing the order of multiplication. You're saying, hey, let me multiply the two and the eight. You multiply the two times the eight, and you get 16. And then you multiply the thou times a thousand times a thousand. So times a thousand times a thousand. And a thousand to thousands, that's one million. This is one million right over here. And notice, you see it there too. A thousand times a thousand, you have three zeros, three zeros, you get six zeros. A thousand thousands is a million. Sixteen times a million is sixteen million. So hopefully that helps and makes you a little bit more comfortable multiplying these numbers that are multiples of ten, hundred, thousands, even millions.